So let's take the first question. We are told that the sum to infinity of a geometric progression is 100. Okay, we have to find the first term if the common ratio is 1 over 3. So this is geometric progression. So you need to take note of the fact that the sum to infinity of a GP is S infinity is equals to A divided by 1 minus R. So this is the formula. So let's just plug that in to the formula. So we're looking for the first term. Okay, so the sum is 100. So I'm going to write 100. That's the sum to infinity. It's equals to A. Is what we're looking for divided by one minus the common ratio in the question is one over four. So write one over four here. Okay, so the next step is to cross multiply like this. So I'm going to have hundred into one minus one over four is equals to a. So it's a we are looking for. So the next step is to cross this hundred goes into the bracket. So you expand like that. So when you expand like that, hundred times one gives you hundred. The next thing you have hundred times one over four, which is hundred divided by four, is equals to a. So if you continue like that, we're going to get 100 minus 100 over 4 will give you 25. Minus 25 is equal to A. So just subtract. 100 minus 25 will give you 75. So that's the value of A. So you come to your option and shade for 75. So for this second question, you need to find or to find the reciprocal of 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. So the first thing is you have to simplify the fraction first. Once you've simplified it, then you can now do the reciprocal of it. So the, the first thing to do is to add the bottom parts. You can see that the SCM there is 12. So that will give you 12. 3 in 12 will give you 4. Plus 4 in 12 will give you 3. So that will give you 7 over 12. So the, the denominator, the bottom part is 7 over 12. But the top is 1 over 3. So that means you are going to have 1 over 3 divided by 7 over 12. So this, this is the major division sign here. So you can write it like this. 1 over 3 divided by 7 over 12. Okay, then just turn this divider times. Now this 12 goes up, 7 comes down. So 3 times 3 and 1, 3 and 12 will give you 4. So you need to have 4 over 7. We have to do the reciprocal of it. Reciprocal of 4 over 7 will give you 7 over 4. So go to the option and look for 7 over 4 there. So that's the answer there. So the next one, you have, you have to find the sum of the first 40 even positive integers. So the first 40 even numbers, I'm talking, talking about 2, 4, 6, and so on. So you need 40 of them. Now, since you're talking about even numbers, that means 40 of them will end at 80. Because if you do 10 even numbers, you're going to have just 5. As in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, see, they are just, they are just 5. You're stopping at 10. But you're going to have 5 times. But if you're stopping at 80, you're going to have 40 times. So that means the number of times here in this question is 40. The last time is going to be 80. Okay? And the first time here... And see the first time the first thing that we appear is going to be two. Okay, so we have to use this formula for sum of EP, which is SN is equals to one over two N into A plus L. This is a very short formula that you can use. Okay, now once you've done this, just write one over two. N is forty. To so write forty there, A is two. The last time is eighty. Write eighty here. So you're going to add two year one, two in forty will give you 20 so you're going to have 20 into 2 plus 80 will give you 82 so you multiply um 20 times 82 82 times 2 that will give you 4 1 6 4 okay then put 0 at the back so that should be 1640 so you go to the option and look for 1640 which is the correct answer here okay now let's go to the next one so for this next one you have to find the First term of a pyramid, okay, which is 3 cm square at the top and 6 cm squared at the bottom, and it is 5 cm high. But to find the volume in cm cube of the first term, now what you need to do is this to solve this question, you need to draw a diagram that looks like this. So you are told that the top is a square, so that means the, but the top part from this part to this part is supposed to be 3, but half of it is going to be 1.5, that's why I put 1.5 at this point here. The bottom part is 6, from this part to this part, everything here is 6. But you're going to write half of it, which is 3. Then the height of the first drum, the first drum is just from this part to this part. The height of it is 5, you can see it here. So the bottom is 5, but the full height of the pyramid is H. So when you find the difference between the big pyramid and the small pyramid, you're going to get the volume of the first drum. But before you can do that, you have to find the value of H. So you're going to use the method of similar triangles. So you pick these things the same way. You're going to say H divided by 1.5. Is equals to h plus 5 divided by 3. 
So you pick it accordingly, the way I just um, represented it now. So you're going to say h over 1.5 is equals to, then I'll take it like this, h plus 5 divided by 3. Okay, then that will give you h plus 5 divided by 3. Okay, cross multiply, that will give you 3h. 1.5 times h will give you 1.5h. Plus 1.5 times 5 will give you 7.5. Now, solve this out. Correct like terms, so I'll give you 3h minus 1.5h is equals to 7.5. Okay, from this part, you're going to get something like this 3 minus 1.5 give you 1.5h equals to 7.5. Divide both sides by 1.5, you're going to get h equals to 7.5 over 1.5. So you can see that the height is 5. Now, if the height is 5, what will be the volume of the top pyramid? The volume of the top pyramid, this piece is 5 here, okay? So, the volume of that pyramid, the volume of the pyramid is just 1 over 3. Then, do the area of the base. The base is a square. So, everything from here to here is 3. The base is a square. So, area of a square is 9. So, you write 9 times, then the height is now 5, which is what we just got now. Then, but for the big pyramid, is from this part, everything in here like this. So, the whole height is going to be h plus 5, but h is 5. So h plus 5 will give you 10. So you're going to do 1 over 3 times. So the base area is 6. From this part to this part is 6. But you're not going to write 6. You're using 3. Now for the base area is going to be 6 times 6. which will give you 36. So 36 then times the whole height which is 10. So you just find these guys out and subtract the two answers. That will be the volume of the first term. So 3 here 1. 3 in 12 will give you 120. Sorry, 3 in 12 will give you... 3 in 36 will give you 12. Then 12 times 10 will give you 120. Then solve for this one like that. You're going to get 3 in 9. That will give you 3. 3 times 5 will give you 15. So 120 minus 15. That will give you 115. So go to your option. Pick 115 there. For this, so for this next question, we are told that if x is equal to 2, then what's the value of x minus 1 to x minus 3? x is 2. So anywhere you see x, you can write 2 there. So this one, this first part here will give you 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 will give you 1 times 2x minus 3. So x is 2. So this one will give you 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 will give you 1. So you have 1 times 1. This one is 1. Then this one you have to find the value of sine 30. Sine 30 is one of the trig ratios you need to memorize for this exam. Sine 30 is 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 is 1 over 2. So, for the next question, the length of a rectangle is 3 times its width. Okay, the length is 3 times the width. So, that means L is equals to 3W. Okay, that's the meaning. Then, the perimeter is 72. You have to find the width, W. Perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. But write it like this, 2 into L plus W is equals to 72. So, this will give you two equations. The first one is... L equals 3W. Second one is 2 into L plus W is equals to 72. From this equation, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. From this equation, you can divide both sides by 2. If you divide both sides by 2, you're going to get L plus W equals to 36. But from equation 1, as you can see here, from equation 1, equation 1, L is 3W. Anywhere you see L, you can write 3W there. So you can write 3W plus W equals to 36. 3w plus w will give you 4w, then you get 36. Divide both sides by 4. w will give you 9. That is the width. Go to your question. Look for 9 there. That is the answer. Then for this next question, we are to. This is under set. So we are told that in a survey of villagers, it is found that 20% of the people visited Kano. So we are going to draw something like a flow chart. It's going to be very fast about it. Then. 25% visited Portacourt. So if 5% have been to both cities, so where they intersect, Kano and Portacourt, they meet at 5%. So you're going to draw something like this. You're going to draw two circles like this. So this one is Kano, this one is Portacourt. So we are told that from the question, they intersect at 5. So they meet this 5. But when you look at the question very well, you see that the whole circle. Of people that are in Kano is 20%. People that are in Potter Court is 25%. So that means everything in Kano, everything in this whole circle, 
everything in this whole circle is supposed to be 20 okay so and 5 has gone out here so 20 minus 5 will give you 15 this piece is 15 then for the circle of potter cuts which is p here everything is supposed to be 20 25 sorry then 5 has gone out here so that means this place here will be 20 so total here are the people that are visiting canon and potter cuts if you add everything you're going to get 15 plus 5 which is 20 20 plus 20 will give you 40 that means there are 40 people that are actually traveling but then the question is you have to find the percentage of people that have visited neither as in people that, are, that did not travel at all so everything is percentage here now the total is 100 so if the total is 100 and 40 percent have traveled out of 100 40 percent have traveled that means 60 percent have not traveled at all or they're not interested in traveling so the answer is d 60 percent then the graph of a cumulative frequency curve is called so a cumulative frequency curve is a curve that looks like this so it's called an o give an o give okay thank you for watching this video i hope you've gained one or two things okay so i'm going to post 15 more questions please like and subscribe to the channel like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments if you don't understand any part let me know so i can do another video like this thank you for watching subscribe please subscribe click the subscribe button thank you for watching god bless you